Thank you, Minister. Um, Ross Cancorla. My question relates to a fox hunting report that I sent on to you, where, which acknowledges that a fox was chased by 37 hounds for over 13 miles. Uh, my question relates to the fact that it's time that I think we decided that this was extremely cruel, it's not sport, and it's time that this fox hunting was exempted from the, the Animal Welfare Act. Thank you, Act. Minister. Yeah, no, let me just answer you directly rather than reading out a long answer to you, because you'll get this anyway. But the, the, I mean, I read those. I read the report that you sent, uh, and you know, this was a report. Um, uh, it was it was a description, basically, of a of a hunt that took place, um, where where a fox was was chased by uh, by a pack of hounds and a and a hunt club um, across. I think 13.6 was it kilometres or miles? I, I can't remember. Um, uh, the fox then went to ground, and that was the end of the hunt, as far as I know. Um, so, you know, we've discussed these issues many times. Uh, I know your views on, on fox hunting and I respect them. Um, but, you know, I made the decision, as did others, when we, when we discussed the animal health and welfare uh, legislation, that instead of, um, you know, banning um, field sports, as they're called, um, we, would, we would look at, the, you know, at, at, at regulation, we would put codes of conduct in place. My department is making contact with, um, with hunt clubs uh, uh, to make sure that the, that the codes of conduct that are there at the moment as voluntary codes of conduct would actually be put into a formal code. Um, you know, that the department would be part of uh, putting together and negotiating, which is very much part of what we are required to do anyway under the animal health and welfare legislation. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get into the, the debate now as to whether we should or shouldn't have fox hunting in Ireland. We've made our decision on that um, uh, in the health and welfare legislation, animal health and welfare le legislation, where there is a specific exception for, for fishing, for hunting, and so on. But, but having said that, within hunting, there are, um, there are pretty clear, um, uh, there, there's a very clear statement which says, you know, lawful hunting of an animal uh, unless the animal is released in an injured, mutilated or exhausted condition. Um, uh, and that is the, the exception um, that applies to hunting. So, you know, there are tighter regulations and rules now relating to hunting than there's ever been because of that welfare legislation. We're going to add to them further now by putting codes of conduct in place. Uh, it's not what you want, I know, which is an outright ban, but I think it certainly uh, will reassure a lot of people who, who are comfortable with hunting as long as there are certain parameters Thank you, Minister. Uh, that, that Sorry, people have to operate Deputy, within, Deputy uh, and that will be the basis for the new codes of conduct that we're putting Deputy in place. Morning, Sullivan. Okay, well let's look at what is involved in fox hunting. The first part is we have the marking to ground, which is where the pack of hounds will chase the fox into the drain or into the earth. Then the terrier man comes along and sends the terrier down the drain, down the hole, to attack or corner the fox. And then after that, the people around start to dig the clay away and the fox is exposed. It's an extremely cruel practice of this digging out of foxes. We know that. And all the regulation in the world, there are people who are so dedicated to hunting that they're going to find a way around this. So it is cruel. It is not a support at all. It's not just one isolated incident that I sent to you. We have others like that. Now, I came across an advertisement which struck me. What can be better than a day's fox hunting in Ireland? The cry of the hounds, the sound of the hunting horn, the thrill of jumping over natural fences, and the sheer style of this equestrian sport is available to everyone at. Why not join us for the fox hunting holiday of a lifetime? Thank we you. have 18 hunting clubs. We'd be delighted to arrange your fox hunting vacation in Ireland. And Thank then you, you can have the crack in the Irish pub afterwards. We are facilitating in this country people to come, come over here for fox hunting, a practice which is banned in so many other countries. Thank you. And we call this Sport. Minister? Yeah, look, I, mean, I, I don't want to get into the debate that we had during the passing of the legislation that we were talking about earlier. Uh, I don't know, by the way, whether there was any digging out involved in the hunt uh, uh, in the, uh, description that you sent to me. Uh, there's no mention of it one way or the other. But we have made very clear, and I made very clear during the, um, uh, during the debate on these issues, that we would also look at making sure that um, that animals, uh, in terms of a, a digging out of an animal, um, that, that, that there would be certain conditions required um, uh, when that takes place. And I can remember having many meetings on this issue with, uh, uh, with um, uh, uh, representative bodies for you know, working terrier groups, as well as, as NGOs um, and so on. And we tried to get a balance here 
as best we could in the legislation. In terms of what you're just reading out there, I mean, like a lot of people enjoy hunting. They enjoy running across the, uh, our, uh, riding across the countryside on horseback. Um, there are, you, you know, many successful drag hunts in Ireland that do that. Thank you, Minister. Uh, and there are others that are that are full fox hunts. Uh, my my obligation as a, as a minister and as a legislator, in my view, is to put rules and regulations in place to make sure that this is, is done in as um, acceptable a way as, as possible from a welfare point of view. Thank you. And that's what we're trying to do. Deputy Maureen O'Sullivan. Yeah. Minister, you know, there was a time when we were hunters and gatherers and we had to hunt animals for food. We don't have to do that anymore. So as far as I'm concerned, there's a shame on us as a nation that we are tolerating barbarity and cruelty to animals in the name of what is supposed to be a sport. Um, it's hard to believe that we are still continuing with barbaric practices and everybody acknowledges how far the bill went but it just didn't go far enough and you know and I know that the hunting clubs in this country are finding loopholes. We saw it with the stag hunting recently out in County Mead that they found a loophole in the legislation which allows them because they caught the scent of a stag to continue to, to hunt it. Um, you mentioned their drag hunting and why can we not be actively supporting that whole you know, nature of drag hunting and leave the live pursuit of animals who, who usually end up being pulled apart by whatever animal is chasing them and leave that to, to something else, to, to bygone days, because that's where it belongs. Thank Minister. you. A final reply, Minister. Well, well first of all, you know, I, I'm not sure it's true to say that usually an animal gets pulled apart. Um, the fox normally escapes from my, from my um, experience of, um, of hunting, not that I have a huge amount of experience of it, but for any, um, um, any time I have had have um, had experience. I've, I've never seen a fox being, being pulled apart, but I'm sure it happens, right? and I'm not saying it does. <coughs> um, look, um, as I said before, my, um, uh, the decisions we've made on this from a policy perspective is to try and get a balance um, that allows people who, are, uh, who derive a huge amount of enjoyment out of hunting, also farmers who want foxes uh, hunted off their land. Um, and, and by the way, you know, if you've seen uh, a field of lambs that have been killed by a fox, you'll see a pretty gruesome pulling apart of an animal um, uh, um, uh, uh, that involves, you know, the fox being the predator uh, rather, than the, rather than the other way around. Um, so, you know, foxes are wild animals and can be vicious at times and can do significant damage to, to farm animals um, uh, you, uh, and poultry and so on. Having said that, that's not what you're raising, I know that. Um, you know, I'm not, as willing to, I'm not willing to go as far as you'd like me to, but we are doing what we can to ensure that we put parameters and rules and codes of conduct in place to make sure that, that fox hunting takes place in as, um, you know, in as ac acceptable way as, you know, as we can from a welfare uh, Thank perspective. You. For all Paul of the Murphy is the next question.